It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a duel in the Lone Star State. It's the Lions and the Cowboys, coming up next. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with the Detroit Lions. Brandon Gordon joined by Charles Davis. CD, you look at the Lions in this matchup, and this is going to be a heck of a chess match. This offense against a defense that will take no prisoners out there. It's going to be a big-time battle, and I think that both of these teams have that mindset of, we're going to do what we do and make the other guys react to us. And we've definitely got a couple of headstrong coordinators who won't back down from the challenge. So this will be a battle of wits as much as it'll be a battle of brawn. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Now Pollard. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. To throw on second and six, Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he slips up past Let's the 45 go, before being tackled. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. A first down throw for Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he's brought down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 
And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people just like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Prescott yet again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing, Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Sean McKeon there to make the grab. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Now the try here for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So the drive there took six plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second and two. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A shotgun snap for Goff. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum 
Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. There's Gaw. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. C.D. Lamb deep for the Cowboys. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll run with Elliott. Skirts by him at the 35. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses, those exact type of runs. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Charles Harris showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield. And he got there and put his man on the ground. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in a long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. Here's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. A first carry now for the BYU man, it's Jamal Williams. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. 
Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Goff now to throw. It's Williams on the catch. And he is going to have a Lions first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. Out from the shadows of their goal line, here's first and 10 from the 11. Now it's gone. This one caught, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. From the gun, here's Goff. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. And that's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. To throw is gone. They're going back to the same well. It's Hawkinson again. Three yards the game there, second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. Now Goff. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. That catch good for five. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. For the defense, they'll spread the field a dime package here on third and 12. Gone. He wants it all for the end zone. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion Go touchdown. A big play there. 56 yards. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field, and then wham. You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. And that throw, amazingly, well over 70 yards in the air, according to Next Gen Stats. Wow. Point after, right down the middle. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play.
So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Let's go, boys. Let's do it, buddy. Come on, come on. The Cowboys are about set to take over on offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They start on the ground with Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Prescott off play action. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. C.D. Lamb, 61 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. And that throw, amazingly, well over 70 yards in the air, according to Next Gen Stats. Wow. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to 7. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one Let's out as their drive will begin at the 25. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Let's get them. Come on. Now a first down throw, gone. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Nice play, man. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, 
And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Back to throw, gone. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Here we go. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Right back to Swift again on second down. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. Out of the gun, gone. Over the middle, hold in by Sharp. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go and make the tackle right away. And his kick here is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now Pollard. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. His throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for, but it'll be second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. 
We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Elliott breaks a tackle. Elliott a first down and more. And down right around the 37. 57 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Well, you don't become a two-time rushing champion in this league without being able to shed some tackles. And Ezekiel Elliott does just that on this latest run. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I think we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Prescott from the gun. Open man lamb. It's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 20-yard line. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. From the red zone now, Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On second down, Elliott. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Now Elliott, and he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a five-yard touchdown run, and the Cowboys will extend their lead.
A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes it a 21-10 game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Let's go, The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, that's into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. So they took their shot. It was a pretty good heave, but in the end, the free safety is the one who comes away with the football. And two of the traits that you look for in a good free safety, range and decision-making, both on display right there. And it didn't hurt that he's got a good pair of hands, too. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. A give to Elliott. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Prescott. And it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and nine. 
Now Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Here's Brian Anger now, standing just outside his own goal line. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and the Lions will take over. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to write the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy create that spark. And so far he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Jaron Curse sit on the tackle. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Play action. It's gone. Open man. He's got him. The tight end, Hawkinson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Goff. Wright's got it. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first down, gone. He'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. A gain of six there on first. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second down at four. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Well, they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Williams. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Jamal Williams. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Lions able to get this back within a touchdown. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. Hey, 
And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. A drive that time of six plays. And it was Jamal Williams who ended things with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now Pollard. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Only needing two yards on second down. Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? A first down carry by Elliott. Pushes past him. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Deshaun Elliott up to make the play defensively. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think he just made the punter a little bit jealous there. There was some serious hang time on that ball. Deep downfield, and while it didn't connect, it certainly sent a message, didn't it? The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. To throw is Prescott. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Point after here, coming up. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. 
Time for another look at this Lions offense. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Goff on first down. He's airing it out for Williams. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, he's got one of the strongest arms in the league. Some people may say the strongest, but that can also have a downside occasionally. And here he's intercepted. Yeah, and when we talk about strong arms, being able to throw it deep downfield, doesn't necessarily take the strongest. It takes more of the timing type of a quarterback. And it's great to be able to take your shot, but when it hangs up there just a bit too long, you put it in jeopardy. And in this case, that was intercepted. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 11. The give is to Elliott. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 84 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On first and 10, Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Here's second and a yard. Elliott. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. It's remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Another shot now for this Lions offense. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 
And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Seven yards, the pick up there. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And meanwhile, Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. They're off throwing again. Trying to lay one up deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Here's Jack Fox now as he'll kick it away for the second time. They decide against going for it on fourth and one, maybe to the dismay of their offense, but hey, a nice consolation prize down inside the five. Mm, nice consolation prize indeed. So maybe the offense is upset, but they showed confidence in their defense by punting it away. Out comes C.D. Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. He's delivered a solid performance so far here in the second quarter. Everything has been good for him. And right now, if you're on defense, you don't want it to go to great. So you have to just change up coverages and looks on him all the time. Press coverage sometimes, back off and play some man, show some zone, double team him, make him really work for each and every catch. He's hit the end zone once. Maybe there's more in the tank. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Four yards remain for second down. Here's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as That's they'll stop the clock about. with 26 That's seconds to go until halftime. Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. 35 yards that time on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Look at DJ Chark as he and the rest of the offense head back out. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us. But sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. Now Goff on first down. And that's out to the flat for Swift. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Yeah. 
And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So not the greatest of first halves for them, but a little ray of light here at the end. The late turnover becomes three points before the break. Well, they certainly needed something positive to go their way. Maybe three points doesn't seem like a huge deal in the grand scheme of things, but at least it's something to build on as they head into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Now Pollard. Let's go, let's do it. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Lions. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards already through two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half, so make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps, but above all, play your game. On first down, it's gone. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Six yards left on second down. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. 
They'll run on first down. Swift. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Right back to Swift again on second down. Breaks through the contact, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 42 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is gone. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. On first down, Swift stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do... They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 24, Goff. And his throw is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Goff now looking to throw. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Back to the running game with Swift. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On second and seven, golf. Incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Back to throw, gone. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive... Mike McCarthy, pretty decisive. He brings out that red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Let's go, baby. After 
review the play. Ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. And that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy they didn't let it pop for anything bigger. Second and goal from the one. Swift. And that play's not going to get him in as he stopped right at about the line of scrimmage. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamal Williams. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions are a two-point conversion away from tying this game. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Goff looking to throw. That's caught at the one. And this play is not going to work. He's out of bounds, well shy of the goal line. And the try for two, unsuccessful. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, I keep coming back to I don't like to chase a lot of points. Yeah. But I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Cowboys offense now. They head out for their first possession of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Prescott to throw it. And this will be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Schultz. 
Yeah, oh, boy, he is very oh, close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, go. just Here a single go. yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here's second and ten. From the gun, here's Gone. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this one is incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing on third, gone. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, rolling on the field is reversed. Well, Mike McCarthy correct in his assessment there to challenge that ruling. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. 97 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second 
So third and two, and I count six defensive backs out there. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. So that drive, four plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. On first and 10, golf. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Keep playing hard. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. They'll run on first down. Swift. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Two. 
So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 right at the 40. On first down, Swift, and little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Jabril Cox there on the tackle. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. On the draw, Goff will give this to Swift. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 32. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a play fake, and it's gone. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call, but for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. Now a first down throw, gone. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I think it's okay there, they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily, put it on him when your other targets aren't open. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Five yards remain on second down. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three corners, no reason to lighten up now. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Gone. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. A gain of six there on first. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. On second down, Swift. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. The Lions on third down. They've been really good, converting seven of their ten tries. This time they face a third and two. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and can serve as much as possible.
They'll run it with Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Good job there defensively to push him back on first down. I'm not sure if this is four down territory or not because they can kick the field goal and get it back within a score. But you know that's not what they're thinking right now. A field goal has to be their last option. They'll run with Swift, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Out of the gun, gone. And escapes the sack. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. It'll be a loss of two on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. And his kick is indeed good. And that'll move him back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now Pollard. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game, and on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the pulse right now? It might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball, but here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. And they've got to get back to that, and that means opening things up again, being a little more free in what they're trying to get done on offense. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Throwing, Prescott. Flush to his right. And he's able to get up here to the 26. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and eight. Now Prescott. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Prescott on first down. That's caught once again by Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Prescott. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. To the air again, Prescott. And he finds his target, it's Schultz. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Charles Harris picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Seems to me that our friend Old Momentum, <laughs> I think he's definitely changed teams in this game. It's only going to grow after that sack, and now, heck, they can get the ball back here and possibly even get the lead. Here's Brian Anger now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Yeah, yikes, terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So here come the Lions now. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right, to them? That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Goff on first down. That one complete. He finds Shark. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Throwing again on second down. Golf. The broken tackle, but couldn't create much space. Down just beyond the 35. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 15. 
They start on the ground with Elliott. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner, 100 yards or more in a game. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Again, it's Elliott. A beautiful fake. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That was huge after being behind the chains on first down to make this second very manageable. Yeah, how much pride do you have in an offense on first down to get that kind of yardage? Because it actually opens up your playbook on second down. You can run it, you can throw it, you keep a defense off balance. I like that phrase, stand ahead of the chains, and they're doing exactly that. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Here we go. Third and one. Gut check time on both sides. So that'll back him up five. Still third down. Bad time to get a delay of game penalty there. Not that there's a good time, but that makes it third and six. Here's Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. 
They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. The whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not one <laughs> second, not one bit. How about them figuring it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Now golf. And incomplete on the deep ball. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Second down, Swift, and not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And that's caught by Williams. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Well, they have had no answer for this connection all night long. And just have to think, in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Goff now to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught inside the five. And in for the Lions, touchdown. DJ Chark, 70 yards. And now if they convert the extra point, the Lions will have the lead. I don't think there's any great secret or mystery here. We're in the fourth quarter. You've got to take that shot, especially since you're down on the scoreboard. But I have to understand what was going on defensively. They've got to know that as well, don't they? Absolutely, but they looked lost defensively, and they took that shot, got in the end zone, now in position here to take the lead. Now for the point after. And with that, his guys take the lead here by a point. A drive there of just four plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come Let's out go. to the 25-yard line. So Dak and the Cowboys down by one. A minute eight to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. Prescott finding Washington. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 
Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in which you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw, Prescott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout Let's now. Go. Let's go. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Prescott. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. The Cowboys signal for their third and final go, timeout go. as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to almost certainly win the football game. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the floor of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. throw here for Goff. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.